Big Questions with the Dead Milkman. My uh, question for this week is, uh, what do you like most about yourself? And what do you like least about yourself? And I suppose I will answer first. Um, in addition to, well, I'm just gonna say my anxiety and uh, the aftermath that it causes. Um, I have not really been open about it for most of my life. It's only been the last like year or so I've started talking about it, but um, it's crippling at times. Uh, and it causes me to have rage moments. Uh, and then I feel guilty and horrible and depressed, but it doesn't last that long. Uh, the anxiety actually helps drive a lot of positive things in a way. Uh, and then I get kind of burnt out and uh, a wreck. So uh, I really don't like that. Um, I'm actually in group therapy trying to fix that um, uh, or cope with just the fact that that's part of who I am. Um, but something I like, what I like the most about myself um, is that I feel like I could like anybody. I feel like I could give anybody a chance. I feel like when I meet someone, they got a clean slate and um, I don't know. I just, even though I'm, I'm talking about, I have my anxiety issues. I really like people. Um, I get a little nervous around them sometimes, but I truly believe that people are good at heart. And um, I like that about myself. Um, it's, 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 slapped me in the face a few times in life, but I do like it. I'm not going to change that. So that's my story. You sticking to it? You can do yeah, it. for now. Yeah, if you have anxiety issues, we're the three guys you want to be in a band with. It's not going to aggravate that. Also, we will be charging you for this as a group therapy session. <laughs> I, let's see. Um, I have kind of two answers for each of the sides of this question. Um, I like... Um, I like my hair because I can grow. I can I can still grow it. Sorry, Rodney. <laughs> oh, I have anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy that I can still grow hair. I, I look at my father. His hair is is thinning, so I'm probably going to end up there. But I've got like maybe twenty twenty more years to go. So I'm pretty pleased about that. Um, the other thing I like about myself, and it kind of is related to Dan, is um, I'm generally, uh, I think I'm generally a nice person, and I try and give people a chance. Um, but the inverse of that is maybe something that I don't like about myself, which is I put up with crappy people sometimes, and that's not good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the phrase, shut the fuck up, Donnie, comes to mind. <laughs> Uh, but um, if if, uh, if you want me to to name a or, or to say something that I dislike about myself, uh, I'm I'm pretty um, unhappy that my eyesight is really bad. Uh, I guess one of my fears is that maybe I'll go blind someday. It's not that bad. I can still see, and in fact, it's stabilized. But Without my contact lenses or glasses, I can only see about three inches in front of my face. So it's pretty bad. So I wish I had better eyesight. Anyway, there's my answer. Good answer. Um, what I like about myself, I'm going to throw, since Dean got to do two, I'll do two because I just thought of something. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, same job for 10 years, same wife for 26 years, been in the same band for 40 years. If I click with you, I've got your back forever. If you got to move, you call me. I'm there. I, I would take a bullet for any of you guys. I hope it never comes to that. Um, but yeah, I would, you know, so I mean, I, I, I'm i there and, and, and I commit very much. Um, the other thing I like about myself, and I didn't know this until my wife of 26 years told me this a few years ago, my shit is really together. Um, <laughs> I, I lead my entire life by, you know, I, I do have an office and 
you know, in a large building. I leave my entire life by calendars, clocks, to-do lists. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and I was not, for the first part of my life, I was nothing like this. I was a fucking disorganized mess. And about 23 years ago or so, I got my, I was working my first, first sort of real job coming up through um, the ranks. And remember, I'm in my 30s at this point because I've been in a band for years. And, uh, um, you know, got a nice area to work in and everything. And one of my coworkers came over and he saw the mess that was my desk. And he said, I like working with you. I'd like to continue working with you. But if you don't start getting organized, you're gone. And I made the mistake of saying, well, I grew up in a very disorganized household. And for the next 15 minutes, he ripped me a new asshole. He was like, he was like, oh, I see. That's why Congress passed a law that said you can't straighten up here. And he just went boom, boom, boom. Like you can't put a cat, you know. And I thought I could have gotten really, really mad at him. Also, uh, well, explain, I could have gotten really, really mad at him. But what I did was I decided, no, turning point. And I got organized. I went out and got a, a book called Organized from the Inside Out. And I began, and it's been like a path in my life. So I wind up where I work being part of a lot of assignments because I can say, okay, you do this, 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 and this, you get back to this person. And for somebody who started off in a punk rock band, it seems very odd, but it's something I like about myself that I can do. Um, I'm, I know I'm going to do this, that, and the other. And the other thing he told me was, I should, I didn't decide this too. Um, <laughs> I never thought about this. Uh, after he was done sort of dressing me down, you know, and, and saying, this is, you know, you need to get your shit together. Um, he said, as he's leaving, he said, and you can never go wrong with the white Oxford and the black pants. And I have an entire closet full of uh, white Oxfords and black pants. And that's why whenever you guys would see me come from, uh, from practice, that's what I'm wearing. It's almost like an homage. Uh, he really did, really did change my life and sort of uh, um, put me on that path. So that is, I, I totally changed. I was a completely different person up until that point. After that, companies, you know, trust me with stuff, which is, again, kind of scary if you've ever seen us live. So that is the, uh, um, the thing I like about myself. Um, the, thing I, uh, the thing I don't like about myself, um, about 12 years ago, I misplaced my keys. And, uh, oh, it's bad. Um, so uh, what happens is, I, I don't have anything I don't like about myself. I don't think anybody should have anything they don't like about themselves. If you have something you don't like about yourself, work to change it. You can do it. You can actually pull it off. You can be a completely different person. Um, and and I, I heavily, you can go down that path. There's nothing, like I say, I grew up in a disorganized household. I'm an organized motherfucker now, as you can see by, by the fact that everything is in these little plastic containers. And uh, but this is all, I think these are, yeah, these are, uh, headphone connectors, and these are USB things. I think you should just like yourself and say, hey, if I've got something, Dean, your eyesight, you can wear glasses. You know, it's like problem solved. All right? You know, if you've if you got a problem, you can fix it. Uh, trust me, I, I, I went from being a total mess uh, to, to being somebody who actually, you know, has a sort of real life, so. What I like most about myself, I like that I'm a good cook. And I think it's important, at least for me, because that means I can cook myself things that I like. At least I think I'm a good cook because I like what I cook for myself. Uh, so I'm kind of self-sufficient in that way. I mean, if I have a kitchen, that is. Um, are you, you self-taught, Joe, or did you learn from your, your parents, your mom? No, I didn't learn, I didn't, I didn't learn from my mom. He learned it on the streets, on the tough streets of <laughs> the streets of West Philadelphia. <laughs> West Philadelphia, border. <laughs> Burning trash cans. <laughs> First person that ever taught me anything about how to cook was Dave Blood. <laughs> Believe it. It's true because I, I didn't have to cook until I moved in. <laughs> then I had to cook. Do you remember what it was he taught you to cook? Uh, spaghetti sauce. Yes, that's oh. all he ever did. Spaghetti. <laughs> But it wasn't spaghetti sauce from a jar. It was actually, he taught me how to make a, a sauce. Did you use cinnamon? He got from his mom, huh? No. Uh, green peppers. Ooh. A little bit of sugar to take out the acidity. Sugar, yep, take out the acidity. <laughs> some salt, some oregano. Right, oh, good you questions. Are... It's recipe time. <laughs> <laughs> I should make a cookbook, actually. I, I should be somebody else didn't say my hair. 
I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and then the second, the second question was, the second part of the two-part question was, what do you like least about yourself? And I like the way that was phrased because it's not like what don't you like about yourself? It's just what you like least. Mm. So I say what I like least about myself is I'm kind of afraid to admit <laughs> to my shortcomings or what I don't like, <laughs> what I like least in a way. I'm in a way I'm afraid to confront my inner demon, so to speak. Don't say shortcomings. I've seen you naked. You're hung like a horse. Come on. <laughs> oh, you have. Yeah, it depends on uh, it depends on my mood, actually. Um, <laughs> well, from the right angle, you know. <laughs> if I wasn't bald, I would have been after that. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the horse. Um, <laughs> sea biscuit. My fear, I have a general fear of people in general. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I'm in therapy or I should be in therapy. Maybe that's my shortcomings. I'm afraid of therapy. <laughs> and here I am talking about it in front of, I don't know how many people are going to watch this. Nobody watches this. At this point, they've turned it off. They're not watching <laughs> yeah. Let's do recommendations. <laughs> yeah. Let's yes, get um, out of this. <laughs> we'll stop watching like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I recommend uh, deleting this episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I recommend uh, be open about your shortcomings. Not just you, Joe. Um, and especially, you know, to yourself. And, or, you know, someone that you um, can... Feel like you can confide in and if you don't have anybody you can message me whoever you are that's my recommendation <laughs> okay uh, my yeah. recommendation is the ust 30 day duro 1000 lumen led lantern with lifetime led bulbs glow in the dark power button and hook for camping hiking emergency and outdoor survival <laughs> <laughs> and a cop is in the stock and the thing that tells time. <laughs> um, Whoa. <laughs> um, it's, it's got four different settings. Uh, let me see if I can do this without blinding everybody. Wait. So it looks like this. So it's got oh. a super bright. Whoa. Medium. If you have epilepsy now. Kind of like, <laughs> like a medium or like a, like a warm light. And then it's got this. Um, sort of candle flicker mode, which you can see oh, going on in the right. background. Um, I have another one back, another one back there. So I recommend it. It's, um, we, for whatever reason, our power grid in our neighborhood sometimes is a very unstable and uh, we decided to get a couple of these lanterns for winter time. Um, um, the other day, it was like drizzling and we lost power for five minutes. I have no idea why. So just decided maybe we should be prepared with, with some lanterns that are going to last a good long time. So anyway, that's my recommendation. I'll, I'll provide the link down below. Um, before my recommendation, a uh, uh, very, very sad uh, RIP. Um, Kurt from uh, Leather Strip has passed away. Uh, Kurt, of course, played keyboards in Leather Strip. He was the husband of Klaus Larsen. Um, I only ever met him once, uh, and I was DJing at a gig uh, with uh, Leather Strip and Ego Likeness, who we mention in every episode. Um, <laughs> but uh, when I first started DJing, people actually came expecting me to fall on my face, uh, planning to make fun of me. Uh, because, you know, old punk rock guy, what's he going to know? Uh, and I was DJing, it was going really well, and I looked over and Kurt gave me a thumbs up. I, I, my German is terrible. He didn't speak a lot of English. Just a super nice guy. We'll put a link up to it. There is a GoFundMe. It was originally to help for this. He's had heart issues for a while. Um, and it was originally to help with that. Uh, it'll, now, it'll now be to help with the funeral expenses. Um, so, yeah, just please, if you could donate. Uh, like I say, brief experience with him. But, again, a life changer. Sometimes somebody giving you that thumbs up, uh, you know, keeps you going. All right, so uh, recommendations. Let's see if I can get more cheerful on that. Uh, first, New Assemblage 23 album. Uh, Tom Shearer knows what he's doing. The album is called Mourn. 
It is absolutely freaking fantastic. It's one of those things where you go, why don't I just retire? I'm not, I'm not as good as these people. Um, and it is, I, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, the songs are about what we're all going through with COVID. Uh, one of the songs, Welcome Apocalypse, is just about uh, him dealing with idiocy, where he saw people having a no mask rally. And Tom recently said, he goes, when I saw that, I can no longer watch a horror movie and go, people would never do anything that stupid because yes, people are that stupid that they would go out and, and have an anti-mask rally. Uh, the, the whole album is absolutely fantastic. I, again, we had a couple things this year I can't say enough good things about. That is one of them. I, I'm really, really impressed. And then my last recommendation, I touched weekly, I touched last week upon this. And then by pure coincidence, I came across this documentary. I talked about my love of Telmundo in the, uh, um, sorry, it was in the background. Uh, Telmundo in the 90s. I watched a lot of Telmundo despite speaking no Spanish whatsoever. <laughs> um, I enjoyed Super Sabadu Gigante. Uh, I enjoyed Christina. Uh, I enjoyed all that stuff. But one of my, um, uh, by the way, I'm also, I watch it so much, I'm also one of the authors of the Chico Vampira song, which makes me happy, um, along with Goss Sickles and MC Lars. But the thing is, there's a guy used to be on there called named Walter Mercado, which brings me to my recommendation. It is called Mucho Mucho Amor. It is the legend of Walter Mercado from 2020. Uh, the most positive guy on the earth, literally. He was, he was very flamboyant. <laughs> Uh, and he was uh, an astrologer. He was on. He was on Spanish TV. You just even though I don't speak Spanish, you could take your eyes off him. He was fascinating. And he, um, at one point in in the documentary, they begin to talk to his assistant about Walter's sexuality. And his assistant, because remember, this is you know he's big in Latin America. And his assistant says, "Let me tell you. Let me tell you Walter's secret. Every day Walter gets up and he takes a pill called I don't care." And I get up now and I take that pill. I've been taking it every day for, and it, was, it is literally just such a pure, joyous soul. Of course, I don't buy the astrology thing, but he's not doing it to, to really build people. He's doing it to make people feel better. I think he actually believes it. And his message is just a message of love. Ab absolutely beautiful. I wondered whatever happened to him. I'm so glad I chanced upon this. And now I know. All right. So th that's my stuff for this week. I have a recommendation. It's an actual object. And if you enjoy sucking as much as I do, this is called the final straw. It is an actual. It's a straw. <laughs> and it, you don't have, it's, you can take it with you because it folds up and then you can use it to suck uh, things. It's like a bomb you? Hmm. Mm. It's a bomb bijou. Mm. Yeah. And then use it as a pea shooter too, right? He should get a lot of app things. You could put spitballs in it, but you might not get many friends that way. But uh, it has also comes with a cleaner. So oh. and it all fits into this thing. And you can buy it online for like twenty bucks or something. It's called the It's illegal south of the Mason Dixon line. <laughs> I was gonna say, can you freebase?